Hello, this is Around the Diocese, your local news source for what's happening around our diocese and beyond. I'm Father Seit here with your December 14th edition. We begin with a special message from Pope Francis. On December 12th, the Holy Father celebrated Mass for the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe at St. Peter's Basilica. In his homily, he said that Mary leads us to reconciliation and to create bonds with others in the Americas. Celebrar la memoria de María es celebrar que nosotros, al igual que ella, estamos invitados a salir e ir al encuentro de los demás con su misma mirada, con sus mismas entrañas de misericordia, con sus mismos gestos. Su presencia nos lleva a la reconciliación, dándonos fuerzas para generar lazos en nuestra bendita tierra latinoamericana, diciéndole sí a la vida y no a todo tipo de indiferencia, de exclusión, de descarte de pueblos o personas. Roguemos a Dios por nuestros hermanos hispanos y por los migrantes de nuestras tierras para que sea reconocida y custodiada su dignidad. Up next, freshmen from Bishop Ludden Junior Senior High School visited students at Cathedral Academy at Pompeii Elementary School on December 1st to work on a service project together. It's good for the older kids to see what they've come from because at one point they were these little kids doing or trying to do the projects that they're doing with. So I think it gives them a good perspective of how far they have come. Number two, um, the younger kids need to see the older kids. They need to see where they're growing into. And so, and it's a good role model thing because the older kids are patient with them. They might not be patient with their siblings, but they're patient with them. And they're showing there's something. So it, it's not quite a generation, but it is an intergenerational kind of an experience where the older ones model to the younger ones. The younger ones are looking up to the older ones and they can see where they're going and they can see where they've come from. This special visit was part of Ludden's annual ninth grade retreat day. It also marked the fourth year that students from Ludden teamed up with the students from CAP for the service portion of the day. Now, on to the annual blessing of the Bambinelli. Oh God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Today, we're blessing the Bambinelli. We're here at St. Mary's Academy in Baldwinsville. The Bambinelli, really, the blessing of the Bambinelli really orig originated in Rome. And this is something that Pope Francis has in invited us to participate in. Uh, the children around the world having the infant Jesus blessed the infant Jesus will be in their cribs at home. And so this is a way for us to anticipate the Feast of Christmas. He would do this at the Angelus on the third Sunday of Advent in St. Peter's Square, and he invites us to do it in our parish churches on that, on that same Sunday, and we did it here this morning at our school for the kids. And I think that's, that's the important thing, is that they understand what the season is about. It's not about the gifts, it's not about the presence, it's about the presence of Jesus, and that Jesus is at the real center of the message. And so we want to bring that home with the kids. Yeah. And I think that they'll really understand that. Many of the kids brought their Bambinelli from home, so that'll make it really special for them. May the figures of the Christ child be a reminder to all of us of how much God loves us to send his Son into the world to save us. Next, Catholic Sun editor and Around the Diocese contributing editor, Catherine Long, joins us to share what we can find in this week's edition of the Catholic Sun. Thanks, Father. This week in the Catholic Sun, we share Pope Francis's message for the World Day of Peace, showcase a Polish tradition in Utica, spread some cheer at the Catholic Charities Men's Shelter in Syracuse, and remember a beloved priest. 
Be sure to look for a special edition of The Catholic Sun in your parish at Christmas. And as always, be sure to visit thecatholicsun.com every day for the latest local, national, and international Catholic news. Merry Christmas from all of us here at The Sun. And now our diocesan social media specialist, Nicole Asavort, brings us this week's Media Minute. It's not too late to take advantage of our new online Advent calendar. And in today's Media Minute, we're going to be showing you just how to do it. You can go right to seerdio.org and click on the big Advent image right on the home page. Once you click, you'll be able to take a look at Advent inspiration, reflections, prayers, and more for each day of Advent leading up to Christmas. If you'd like to receive your Advent inspiration right to your inbox each day, you can do so by signing up on our website. Just click the big green sign up button right on the web page. From all of us at Around the Diocese, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. That's all for this episode. Be sure to check out our reflection for the third week of Advent by Kitty Spinelli of Joseph's House at the end of our show. Until next time, I'm Father Sight. And remember, in these remaining Advent days, God is doing great things in each of us and all around our diocese. Take care. I think you have to make that choice every day. Things will pop up that you really don't want to do, and you have to try to look at it the way God looks at it, rather than the way we look at it. There's something else that happened this week. Um, the enormity of running this mission, uh, I, I can't even tell you how, how huge it is. And there was something that we decided to take on as a group. And I prayed about it and prayed about it. And I said, God, what do you want me to do? What would you do? And I had my answer. It's a choice. It's, it's a, you know, it's a thought. You have to give your decisions. You have to think about them and you have to weigh the consequences and see if the good is going to outweigh the bad. And you have to try to figure out what would Jesus do and what would he want me to do. That's how I say yes to God every day. I think special prayers and devotion to Mary can bring us closer to God every day, not just during Advent. I think that um, the rosary every day of your life, and maybe say two during Advent, is the way to go. Um, the rosary is the most powerful prayer on earth, and the rosary for me personally is what brought me to God. Mary made me feel safe enough so that I wasn't afraid to approach her son, Jesus, because we're all just sinners. And she was my go-to girl, and she still is. And I, I say that rosary every day, some days twice, some days three times, especially um, when they're rough days, when they're tough days. And those prayers, I don't know, the middle of every Hail Mary says, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. So Jesus is at the heart of every Hail Mary. And um, she will always take your prayers to him and he will always answer them because honestly, I would believe that the favorite person of Jesus was his mother, Mary. Well, I mentioned the rosary and that's one of my favorite ways to connect with Mary. And Probably my favorite way um, to really connect with Mary and say the rosary is in front of Planned Parenthood. And that sounds kind of strange maybe, um, but when I'm on the sidewalk in front of Planned Parenthood with my head down saying the rosary, uh, there is a peace that comes over me because I know other people take that in and they wonder what it's about. And if I have the opportunity to speak to someone who passes by and spread the word of Mary and spread the word of the rosary and hand them a rosary and give them the opportunity to understand that they are loved and cherished by God, I feel like I'm doing the best that I can do. And, you know, there's lots of things. I love to go to different grottos at churches to see their, um, their little statues of Mary. 
There's a beautiful one behind St. Mary's in Skinny Atlas, and a beautiful one at Holy Family. There's a gorgeous one at the cathedral, and there are special places of peace where you can say a Hail Mary and say a thank you um, for all the graces that she brings upon us. I just, I always, when, when I'm having a moment where I need help, I always go to Jesus through Mary because I know the prayer will be heard. It's been heard time and time again, and that's why Joseph's house exists.